problem we encountered in our catechetical center is that um, we have these uh, newly uh, graduate students, high school graduate students, and then we train them. But after that, uh, instead of giving uh, their commitment of two years to serve in the uh, in the parishes, so now sila because we also want to have this certain compensation. Uh, so, because uh, we have opportunity, although ako sila ng ng catechetical center, pero pero yun inahanap nila. So, yun yung reality. And then we are spending hundreds of thousands sa catechetical center and yet after nyan, di mo na mo pagkinibala ng mga katechista mo. Because they will find a more greater pasture. So any anyone sana uh, certificate that they can be at least recognized by part of this school that they will be given a certain compensation because uh, they graduated from December na accredited ng CHED and they are entitled for a certain compensation then we could do. Um, in, in the K-12 curriculum that, uh, that was uh, crafted by also part of it is the technical working group, um, instead of offering the TPL, the technical vocational livelihood track, in grades 11 and 12, there is there um, a, a two-year program also after the student has graduated from grade 12, you will be a certified, either a certified catechist or a certified youth minister. May track po na ganyan sa 11 and 12 that we proposed. No? So instead of ako kung ako ng nail art or nail technician, I will not end up as a nail technician, but I will end up either as a certified catechist or a certified youth minister. Okay, so if I end up as a youth minister in the diocese, naturally I will have compensation. Okay, we, we do understand, and then that will be some kind of a ladderized program. After some time, if you want to go back to tertiary, you can go to tertiary and pursue BSE major in religious education. After which you really become now a teacher who can be employed in either the, in, in the Catholic schools to become a Christian living teacher. So yun po yung mga, we, we do understand really the, the demand for compensation and we cannot keep our people no, from you know, aspiring to have a better life. No? In fact, that is a common dilemma among Catholic schools, especially small Catholic schools who really cannot compete with the compensation given in the public school. I'd like to pick up the point raised by Father. I think it's, it's a re re really valid point. There are certain givens that we, we cannot get out of. The first thing is that only lead pastors can teach in a informal education. Lead pastors meaning licensure exam for teachers. In our case, a person who teaches religion should be led, a lead pastor in values ed. Not in religious education, that's not within the state's jurisdiction. That's within church jurisdiction. That's one given. Second is that under the new K-12 program, as mentioned by Dr. Pilar, there is a two-year certification for grades 11 and 12. That at the end of grade 11, grades 11 and 12, a graduate of basic ed would be certified, a certified catechist. Now, that's not enough to teach religion, right? And there's no compensation. I'm picking up again, there's no compensation. However, he can go through another two years of college education under the diocesan Catholic College and finish a BS in REBE. REBE is Religious Education and Values Ed under the new curriculum. Kasi mas madali ngayon makatapos sa kolehiyo kasi imbis na ang kolehiyo ay apat na taon, dalawang taon na lang. Kasi basically, junior college yung grades 11 and 12. So, one attraction that we can provide these young people who would finish grades 11 and 12 is this. 
they get basic education, get themselves certified, right? And then go through the Catholic college program for another two years. At the end of that, have a BSEN major in religious education and value set. At which time, with a let, at which time, they are qualified to take the licensure exam for teachers under PRC, Professional Regulatory Commission. They're given a license and therefore they can be hired as catechists or as values and teachers in the public schools. In other words, there are certain limitations. Hindi ka po pwedeng magturo at hindi ka pwedeng sirenduhan kung wala kang lisensya. Stricto ang gobyerno do. Even our Catholic schools. There's a way out of this. Is it possible that because there is a dearth of catechists in Catholic schools, can a certified teachers in catechesis teach in grade school and high school? Uh, technically speaking, DepEd does not check our religious education program. Right? DepEd does not check that. DepEd only checks that you teach values ed because values ed is mandated by the DepEd curriculum. So can a non let passer catechist certified in a catechetical center teach grades 1 to 4? Answer for me is yes. Can they be paid by the Catholic school? Answer is yes. However, you need to provide only two to three years of teaching so that while he or she is teaching, he or she finishes a degree program. In other words, it's only a pan A solution. At the end of the day, it could not be a permanent arrangement that a non-led passer teaches permanently. For is this, you do not gain permanency if you do not have led in that school. In other words, you can be taken out at any time by administration. The, 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 the principle is this, nobody teaches in any school, whether public or private, without a license to teach. For our Catholic case, it is the license to teach values education. The other way by which we can approach that is this. Let me uh, respond. No? We have, as I mentioned earlier, a TWG meeting with the bishop. We already have very strong regional aggregation of diocesan catechetical offices. Northern Luzon, Central Luzon, Bicol, Southern Luzon, for instance. Mindanao, the, 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 the five ecclesiastical regions have a bishop advisor. Also in region six, seven, and eight. Very strong. In other words, they are working together. The catechetical directors work closely together. There is networking. I suggest that because there is also scarcity of resources, strengthen the regional catechetical centers. Now, where would the regional catechetical centers go? I think they can do outreaches. That uh, good example is this. I know Virak uh, is already saying it. That they did linkages with Boek. In other words, Boek, the Bishop of Yap Evangelization, Center is sending the professors to Birak because the catechetical coordinator there is a member of the missionary catechist of St. Therese. Um, ideally, brothers, maganda may catechetical center about diocese. But realistically, that's impossible. I'll, I'd, I'd like to use the same analogy as a seminary. It's expensive for a diocese to start a seminary. It's not earning. It's really out-out capitalization. 
So at the end of the day, what we need to strengthen in the seminaries are the regional seminaries. Northern Luzon, you have Vigan. In Central Luzon, you have Immaculate Conception, Biginto, and the very help of Christians in San Fabian. You have Northern, in NCR, you have the major seminaries, San Jose, USD, and uh, San Carlos, MST. And you have in Cáceres, you have the major seminary of the Rosa. In other words, professors from different dioceses are enlisted by their bishops to go there and teach. Why? That's really collaborative team effort to form the Presbyterium of the region. At the same token, I'm using that analogy for us. The certification is really this. It has an objective. Deliver quality, not mediocrity. Because at the end of the day, our people will suffer if we have mediocre catechists who are not well trained. So the instrument only has one objective, that quality is a reward in itself. And that if we know that it is quality, because we have standards to live up to. And standards that are born out of the church's vision of catechesis. That's difficult because the standards speak of ideals. That is why I, I would use the word again, used by the TWG. The TWG is here to accompany the catechetical center so that we, we, we close the gap between what is and what ought to be. So that when we close the gap between the situation and the ideal, then we have made a difference in the life of a catechetical center. I was surprised at the uh, input of Dr. Pilar about these uh, two years of uh, the kit and the drill uh, open for uh, certification of Catholic and ministers. I think that's something new and it's positive on the on, the, on our side. Um, and that could actually answer you the problem of Father Dai. Nung mapadala ko, tapos mo wala kasi pupunta sa ibang mo. For me, I would like to see the whole list of, remember this is a uh, suffering word, it's the new evangelization. And my, one of the things that the new evangelization uh, I mean, uh, requires from the catechesis at this moment is to move out, to move catechesis from this overly academic paradigm. That we do catechesis on the schools. Can be no problem as a diocese, the teacher not is about the school. But catechesis is not in the school. Catechesis is in the parish community, in the BECs, in the family. So for this, we don't need the, the uh, left pastors. But at the same time, we, we, are support, we can give opportunities for our Catholics to have this uh, kind of a uh, 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 at the, uh, at the green. So, ang naisip ko lang, kung, ma kung may programa ka dito, certification of cabbages, then the diocese could take hold, can, can take advantage of this, na maging lateralized siya. Pag, na, pag natapos na yung two years na certification, this certified cabbages could serve the parishes. Meanwhile, Sa, sa, 
uh, technical vocational uh, uh, track. Pero sila, pero sila two years na technician sila or NC, NC2 uh, 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 certified. And they say they can really work, can really work in the, the companies. And then after some time, they can come back, pick up the, 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 the grade 12 or move on to uh, a college degree. No? So, 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 Pwede tayong magalan ng 2 years na certification and then after 2 years, that parang, parang OJT nila let them, let them do catechist by the Ministry of the Ministry, the parishes tapos may, may programa tayo na to, uh, to, uh, to uh, be open for them na, for example, weekends or 3 days a week papasok sila for this for a more uh, talita yung almost as a degree uh, course so this uh, so if I'm going to this at the same time, we get the opportunity to move on, and uh, by the time they graduate, at least I'm going to have a little bit of success in the parishes. And this way, we also emphasize our catechetical ministry. Not in the public school. The lack of education in the parishes and the villages. Because as you know. But in public school, it's a very strict and very strict possibility in public school. And in the, in the, even the situation of public school, even the quality of teaching, the quality of the is in the public school, it's a little bit because the education system of public school is not very uh, 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 good. Okay. So that's, that's just uh, a dream that no? I have to share with you. Kasi, Talaga ang sa akin, personally, as church in the Philippines, we have to move out of this overly academic approach in catechesis. Kasi nangyayari dyan, ang catechesis, pag nasiskwelahan lang, subject and dating, pag subject and dating, we, so we are the guarantee of an evangelized Catholic. Kasi pag nag-aaralan lang, Para this. this is the situation of many Catholic schools. Diba? Kaya dapat balik talaga natin yung nature ng catechesis. It's really within a catechesis is done in the parishes, in the places, in the families. I'm not, I'm not ano yung ano the, the creating the school. The school is still valid. Pero let, uh, the school is not the only venue for the catechetical confirmation of our children and, and the young. Time check, uh, fathers. It's uh, 25 minutes after 5. We're supposed to have a mass division of equal between 5.30 and 6 o'clock. So can we have a break for around 15 minutes and gather here? Kindly you bring your soul um, out. That is the request of uh, the liturgy group for the Mass with Bishop Thank you.